When you get a perfect Hollywood couple like Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively, it's impossible to imagine that they were ever with anyone else. Well, in this case, it's true. Ryan was, in fact, married to Scarlett Johansson when he met his future wife, Blake. Reynolds and Lively have given fans a hilarious and intimate look into their relationships with their Twitter banter and Instagram pics. Her as well. Yeah, I love it. I think it's a sign of a healthy relationship, personally. However, when he was married to Scarlett, their marriage was pretty much out of the spotlight. So what was it about his first marriage that he wanted to stay private? And is it true that the actor refused to work with his ex-wife? It's so, it's so personal um, to talk about that. Hearing that Black Widow and Deadpool were actually married to each other in real life might be news to you, and we don't blame you for that. Ryan and Scarlett weren't very public about their relationship and marriage. In fact, the pair were hardly spotted and photographed together. This probably sounds a little strange considering what Ryan's marriage to Blake Lively has been like. Granted, they've been private about their three daughters, but when it comes to their own relationship, they've been pretty happy to share intimate snaps of just the two of them together. Ryan married a beautiful Blake, yeah. sexiest man in the world, all those things, oh, and yet... She is the sexiest man, man in the world. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the pics and tweets come with some hilarious captions that fans can't help but laugh at. However, with Scarlett, things were very different. They weren't the typical Hollywood couple that went out publicly together and gushed about one another. The world didn't even know that they were a thing until they confirmed that they had gotten married in 2008. Now, we're not saying that there's anything wrong with keeping things private, but it's another story when a couple doesn't even want to show any PDA in public. Uh, you and Ryan, uh, the adorable Ryan Reynolds, been married? Uh, we have been married, uh, how long have we been married? A year and a half. Year and a half. A year and a half, and you're a cute couple. He is also in here, right? Thank you. Uh, I think he, he, may, he may also be a beautiful person. He's a beautiful person, you're a I beautiful so. person. It's so good that you're both beautiful together. Unfortunately, to fans' dismay, their marriage didn't last. When Scarlett and Ryan parted ways in 2010, it was the biggest news of its time. Despite the fact their whole relationship had been kept pretty under wraps. Naturally, they both kept their lips tightly sealed when it came to talking about their split. Many sources have claimed several reasons to be the cause of their divorce. But the one thing fans think was the true reason is that Scarlett Johansson was at the peak of her career, while Reynolds was just making it. Both actors are now among the most sought after stars in Hollywood, but it wasn't always that easy for Ryan. Why can't you be like other actors? Good ones. He too had to suffer climbing up the ladder of the movie making world. Thankfully, it paid off in the end. But perhaps this struggle to grow his career while he was married to Scarlett, whose career was already booming, took its toll. No use talking about that now because they're both happy in life and have successful careers. On the other hand, what you might find incredibly interesting is that Reynolds has allegedly asked Marvel Studios to keep him out of any of Scarlett's movies. Doesn't that make you raise an eyebrow? Or two? Yeah, us too. Wanna know why? Well, it seems that Ryan simply wants to avoid any awkwardness with his ex-wife. While these are simply allegations, there might be some truth to them. The actor is said to have quite a few future Marvel projects coming his way, and his one condition to making the films is that he wouldn't have to share a set with Scarlet. This might be a tough one to avoid since Scarlet has her own set of Marvel movies, and it would seem that they would be bound across paths eventually. However, it's been rumored that Johansson will hang up her own spy gadgets for good. So maybe they won't be crossing paths after all. Ryan must be relieved. According to every report we got, their marriage didn't end well. Because, well, Reynolds wanted a family at that time, and Scarlett had her own career to take care of. In the end, they did get what they wanted. Ryan Reynolds is now one of the highest paid actors and has a beautiful family with beautiful kids and a wife he loves and adores. Scarlett Johansson is one of the most famous actors in the world, and in the end, she also got her happily ever after with the man she loves, Colin Jost, and their new bundle of joy. Years after her divorce to Ryan, when Scarlett's Oscar-nominated Marriage Story, also starring Adam Driver, was released, she decided to open up on what went wrong in their own marriage. Johansson reflected on her youth and her first marriage, and the different ways she interpreted exchanging vows compared to now, in a new interview with Vanity Fair, though did not actually mention her ex-husband by name. I mean, the first time I got married I was 23 years old, 
I didn't really have an understanding of marriage. Maybe I kind of romanticized it, I think, in a way. After announcing their divorce in December 2010, through a joint statement affirming their continued love and kindness for each other, Johansson found love again with French journalist Romain Dariac, who she married in 2014. Although they divorced just three years later. So, with two failed marriages, there's no doubt that the actress has learned a lot of lessons during that time. Around the time of her divorce from Dariak, with whom she shares a six-year-old daughter, Johansson met with director Noah Baumbach, who was writing the script for a new film, Marriage Story, about a couple going through a divorce. I had some kind of shared experience with the character, or with any person going through a divorce, really, Johansson said. Um, I will say that, you know, at the time when I met with Noah, I was actually going through a, a divorce and I didn't know um, what we were meeting about at all. I understood the bittersweetness of it somehow, in a way. All those kind of in-between feelings that the character has, I understood them because I had gone through them myself. In the Netflix film, which if you haven't seen by now, we highly recommend. Have some tissues near because it will have you sobbing your heart out. How are you doing? Johansson plays Nicole, who is in the midst of a divorce from her husband Charlie, played by Adam Driver. The couple shares a child too, which the actress explains she could relate to more as she co-parents her daughter with Dariak. The 36-year-old actress reflected on what she's learned about marriage now, after going through her experiences of divorce and finding love again. It's a different part of my life now, she confessed, in comparison to the first marriage with Reynolds. I feel like I'm in a place in my life where I'm able to make more active choices. I'm more present, I think, than I've been before. While they've been avoiding one another on set in the future, they've both moved on in their respective lives and seem to be truly happy. And I just want to say that this place means so much to me. I have so many friends here, and I met the love of my life here. Oh. Very soon. Colin Jost and Scarlett quietly got married in October 2020. Johansson spoke about the wedding to people in April. I think just keeping it intimate and small made it feel intentional, she said. We wanted it to feel like it had an intentional intimacy as opposed to being something that felt like we were restricted by all these things. Not only did they keep their wedding under wraps, but her pregnancy too. We guess that since the world was under lockdown for most of her pregnancy, it helped to keep things a secret. The couple didn't announce that she was expecting until just about when she gave birth. But now that their son, Baby Cosmo, has arrived, we did a little digging to find out about how they're coping with parenthood. They are very private but elated over the baby, an entertainment source shared. They are both so happy and madly in love with the baby. They wanted this child who will fit right into their lives, since they already have her daughter. They are an awesome couple, both talented, smart and clever. They will be the best parents. And it seems that Jost is also the ultimate father. Colin is considerate and helpful in everyday life, so adding one more to the mix should be fine. The source added, The baby is the best thing ever for both of them. Since Scarlett doesn't have social media, it was Colin who announced their son's birth after Johansson's rep confirmed a week ago that the actress recently gave birth to their son. That rep did not specify the baby's name or exact birth date. Jost did reveal the name on his Instagram. He wrote, Okay, okay, we had a baby. His name is Cosmo. We love him very much. Privacy would be greatly appreciated, he wrote in the caption of his Instagram. Ryan and Blake are also living their own happily ever after, having recently welcomed their third daughter back in 2019. Family, how, how's the, the baby? Are you sleeping? Great. What's no, going on? Baby's uh, no longer allergic to sleep. Very happy about oh, that. Oh, that's a big yes, deal, yeah. For, uh... In their usual secretive manner, multiple publications confirmed that the couple welcomed their third child although no details about their new baby's name had been shared. Fans also didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. That was until Reynolds shared a photo of himself, lively and a baby, who appears to be their third child in a carrier. The baby's face has been blurred out and covered with a smiley face. In his tweet, he also referenced his daughters, which seemed to confirm that he and Lively's third child is also a girl. Blake's dear friend, Taylor Swift, wrote the song Betty for their newest album, Folklore, that features the names of Lively and Reynolds' other two kids, James and Inez, seemingly confirming the couple's third child's name is Betty. Well, that's one creative way to announce your baby's name to the world. 
We're so happy that both Scarlet and Ryan were able to move on and find the happiness that they deserve. While the journey wasn't easy, it's clear that sometimes the person that you marry isn't always the one, and it's okay for things not to work out. Your true love might be right around the corner.